Hi, this is Joshua Sepesh with AWC. I'm going to be teaching y'all how to implement a Normex Skellix block inside of an FC and then call it an OB1. So first, let's make sure that we have a good working PLC. I've already done a configuration, so I'm going to just press download onto it. It'll take a couple minutes. So it's saying, hey, do you want to load this configuration and this hardware? Say load. Finish. Make sure that's all. So you can go online with it by pressing online. Everything's green. All right. Let's go back offline. And now let's add a new block. We're gonna call it scale block. And we're gonna say it's an FC. And we're gonna choose it as ladder. And let it automatically number it. So say OK. All right. In the block interface, let's drop this down. Let's do our raw value coming in. So that'd be a raw input. Then it'll be a raw max or raw min. Then raw max. Then we're gonna have a engineer min. Engineer max. On our network one, let's go to our conversion operations, add a normx and a scale x. And if you look on these question marks, we can see what it's inputting as. So any of these, so let's choose integer on the output, it only lets you choose real or long real. So let's choose real. On our scale block, it's the same thing, it's gonna be real. And on the output side, since we're going to go to, you know, let's say display, let's do it to a real so we have a decimal place. So on the front end, you can see if you click on the, if you look over this yellow, just hover over it, it'll say input. It's going to be an integer word. So on our min, let's make it a integer. Our max is going to be an integer. Our raw input will be also an integer. And our engineered min and max can be a real. So let's make that a real. And make this one a real. So this would be raw in, raw minimum. And then it scrolls down to the next one, raw input, and then raw max. So to interface between the two blocks, we need to add a temporary variable. So let's go to our, deck, our interface parameters and let's type in temp. And that will be a real. And it's going to go back into the scale box, so temp again. Our engineer min. And our engineer max. Now, one thing that is also cool is if you on your output, so this is going to be uh, scaled. You can just press enter and it's, it has a little line under it. If you just right click on it and press define tag, you can actually set up, it's going to define it as scaled because you typed it in. And then the selection, you can set it to a local variable, which will drop into this declaration and or you can do it to any of these other locations so in out out for memory so right now it's on temp so we need to actually have it as an output so we can actually see it on the outside of the block so press define and it will automatically populate up here output scale so now we need to press save because we're all done with this press compile make sure it's happy and exit and let's drop this block on OB1 our raw input is going to be from 0 to 27648. And this should be on our mid, right? And our raw input will be our analog input. So it will be IW64. And we 
we can see that when we go to the PLC. We can click on here and then scroll this over. And you can see on our analog inputs 1 and 2 is 64 and 66. So let's go back to OB1. So 64 is the first one, so let's use that. And what do we want it to be scaled from? I normally just choose a normal 0 to 100%. And then on our output, let's just put it to an M memory, so MW80. Oh, wait, it's a real, so it has to be an MB80. So now let's save. Download to this sucker. And load it. And then we'll go online with the PLC and then we'll simulate a value to that log input. So now let's go online with it and see if our block is working. Now the value that I'm putting into it is a 0 to 20 milliamp, so let me go to 50%. So about out of 0 to 27.648, about half is. 16383, something along the lines of that. 13.5, close enough. And it's about 49. So I go up to 100%, which is 27,648. Let's scale up to 100. One good thing that you can also do with this block is we could go over to the libraries over here on the right and then click New. And we can start adding FCs to a global library where we can reuse it. Once it's made, we can open up this, go to master copies, and then drag our FC1 over into our master copies and use it on other projects that we need it for. Alright, thanks for watching.